All right, welcome back. We are finally at stage two of the Giant Trinity build. I just got the Giant Trinity back from Matt from Auckland yesterday and the paint job looks absolutely sick. We were out to go have a look at it now. So basically the idea was to turn it into like a World War II bomber jet with like the shark teeth at the top and then we're off to go build it. Not bad looking. Take it out for its inaugural spin. Oh, <laughs> I don't even know if this is going to be easy or legal. Eh? I'm so happy to say that finally, after about two months, my custom World War II bomber jet, um, the giant Trinity TT bike is finally done. All right, I've been wanting to make this video for over a month now, but this bike has just been delayed after delayed after delayed. Basically, I sent the frame up to Matt to get it custom painted in Auckland, and he had it all ready to go. And the day he went to send it out, Auckland went into like level three again, it all got locked down and we didn't know if we could send it. So then it ended up being, I think, a week, a week and a half later than we expected. And obviously because it's a time trial bike and there's so many little bits in the bars and everything had to get painted, it just took a wee bit longer than the Scott foil. But it was completely worth the wait. I think it looks absolutely awesome. I'm in love with the color of it because you just don't really see any bikes like this out in the market at the moment. Everyone's quite conservative and they have like maybe a little bit of a bright color and the majority of the bike is just dark. Whereas this bike is like really, really bright and so is the Scott foil. Obviously a few of you are probably wondering why it's got no cranks on it at the moment. And that's because I'm just switching my power meter over from my road bike to the TT bike when I want to ride it because I want to have power when I'm training. So let's go over the specific components that I put on this bike, like why I chose it and what we put on it. So obviously because it's a time trial bike and everything's integrated into like the headset, into the bars and stuff. The obvious choice because of all the dramas we had on my last time trial bike being mechanical, we went for DO2 on this bike. So we've got Ultegra 11 speed DO2. 
rear mic, front mic, and shifters up top here. So I've got the front and rear derailleur shifters up on the top of the bars here. And then I just kept these normal carbon Durace brakes because I think these will work absolutely fine and they came with the frame. Onto the cockpit, most of this obviously came with the bike. So I already had the spacers, came with the bike. I already had the base bar and the stem. So basically the only thing I needed to buy was the pads and the bars. I got these really, really aggressive bars that Maddie suggested. They are the Zip Voca Evo 110s if anyone wants to know. So basically the idea is when I'm in my TT position, if my arms are up here, basically they're just almost in line with my eyes, which is like obviously to get rid of that frontal area. I've been out for a little ride on the bike and it feels pretty good. And then here we've just got zip pads on here as well, which came with these bars. And then I've just got a Syncross TT saddle that came on Maddie's um, Scott foil that he lent me. And then wheels, we have our Maddie's zip disc on the back. I don't actually own this disc, I'm just using it for the video. And then obviously my Jura C75 on the front. Let me know what you think in the comments about the Tamil tires combo. I think it looks pretty cool on this frame. But yeah, obviously the main part of this video is the custom paint job and I'm absolutely in love with it. I think it looks so cool. So yeah, another big shout out to Matt from Frameworks Bicycle Painting. Check him out. I'll put his link in the description below. He's been doing some absolutely awesome custom paint jobs. So go have a look at those. He also sent me a whole bunch of stickers. So if you're one of the first comments in the comments down below, I'll send some of these out to you if you're in New Zealand. But yeah, that's basically the whole TT bike. It's really, really good. I can't wait to get out and ride it. In the next video, we're going to take it for a ride. Hopefully I can get like someone in a car in front of me and get some really cool shots of it because I think it really deserves a good video. Video. So yeah, that is going to be the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. It's been a long time in the making. I think it's been almost two months since I picked up the frame. But yeah, well worth the wait. If you have any ideas of what you want me to do with this TT bike, if you've got any video ideas, definitely leave those in the comments below. And if you are not subscribed to the Cycling Tom YouTube channel, do that now and I'll see you in the next video.